Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk to you about container tomatoes and container peppers and how to manage water. One of the hardest problems of growing tomatoes and peppers in containers is making sure they stay watered. If you let your tomato or peppers dry out completely, it really does damage the growth of the plant. So today I want to show you what a reservoir is for water and basic mulching. These are tomatoes that I planted about a week ago and I'm trying to get them started early in containers. And the first thing you want to do is actually use a moisture control soil, garden soil, in your container, which you can pick up at any home improvement store, at your local nursery, and it will say moisture control. The next thing you want to do is leave about two to three inches of space on top and then mulch it. That mulch will help keep the moisture in your plant. You want to be careful when you're mulching. You can see that I broke off a branch of my brandy wine. The other thing you want to do is you want to have some sort of method to create a reservoir. And what I found at my local hardware store are these trays. They're extra high. They will hold a lot of water. Uh, the tray this size here I think was about two dollars and fifty cents. This is a perfect amount of water to create a reservoir. When it gets hotter your plants are going to need a lot of water or if you go away for a day or two you can use this to make sure your plants don't dry out. I highly recommend it. It's very hard to keep the moisture in your container vegetables. It's not so bad in you know April, May and beginning of June but once it gets hot it's really really difficult and once your plants get large they really take the water out of the soil. I wanted to show you what you have to do is on the bottom of the bucket is put in 15 10 to 15 holes like this. In my containers up for tomato, I use the five gallon containers. For peppers, you could use a smaller two and a half. And these have big holes in the bottom. You can use a big hole, it really doesn't matter. These used to be upside down tomato buckets that uh, as the plants got heavier, the uh, wiring got ripped right out of them. And I don't grow tomatoes upside down anymore, but I want to keep using the bucket. But they have a big enough hole in the bottom. You can use one big hole, you can go with 10 to 15 small holes and again this two and a half size bucket the two and a half gallon size bucket is great for peppers the five gallon bucket is great for tomatoes and you can buy these trays for the peppers too so just to recap one of the biggest things you have to deal with when you're growing vegetables in containers is moisture so you can one by moisture control soil which helps it just has a lot of peat moss and organic matter that holds water you can mulch on top which helps keep the water in the soil and you can create a reservoir with a plastic tray um, so that you can fill that up with water and you actually get a bottom water your tomatoes that way and it also helps buy you time if you're going away for the weekend if you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my other YouTube videos. I have about 150 garden videos. Thank you.